Hey guys, welcome to this uh, hacked uh, playthrough of Decent 2. So we are using the DXX Rebirth engine to play the game. And because the uh, source code is open source and is available on GitHub, we can actually check out the source code ourselves and uh, apply some hacks or cheats. So for this first episode, I thought it would be fun to create a hack that disables any damage that we take from lava tiles. All right, so let's see what happens if we touch some lava. As you can see, the ship starts uh, to kind of shake and our shields are draining. You can see the, you can see the shields in the uh, uh, down left corner. And once we run out of shields, we die. Now let's take a look at the code that actually handles this damage. So there is this file uh, collide, uh, which handles collisions. Uh, and we've got a function here called check volatile wall. Uh, this will check if we are colliding with a wall that does damage. Uh, so first it's checking out if the current object being passed is the player object. Then it gets the texture from the wall over here. Then it sees if there is damage associated with that texture. Then if there actually is damage, damage being higher than zero. Then you can see over here that damage is being calculated based on a multiplication of our current time. If the difficulty level is easy, the damage is being halved. And then over here is the apply damage to player. And besides uh, applying damage, also the object of the player is being rotated on the X and Z axis on a random value which kind of creates the shaking effect in the game. Uh, for this cheat, I introduced a new variable, LP, no lava damage. Uh, if that is activated, we are not going to apply damage to the player. So let's just set this to one. Now we'll compile the game. Okay, so we compiled the game. We're back to the lava. And now, as you can see, my shield stays intact with a perfect 100. So we do get the random motion being applied to the ship and we get a slight red flash. Also the sound effects. But we don't get damage. Okay, so before I can run the DXX Windows version, I first need to uh, create the executable based on my hack. So I'm in a forked repository of DXX Rebirth. I can go to Actions, then say Package Windows. Then we're going to run a new workflow. I'm going to switch to my LP branch and I'm going to run this workflow. And this will now create a package specifically for Windows. And this is actually a built-in process of the original uh, DXX Rebirth uh, repository. Okay, so now the process is done building. It produced an artifact and we can just download it. There it goes. And now we take the open zip file and we're just going to extract all these files to our current Windows folder. And once the files are copied, we can start our playthrough.
Outer Rim Station, MIL-132. Request clearance to dock. Vertigo 1, please confirm security clearance, A-7. Affirmative. Transmitting now. Vertigo 1, you are cleared for docking bay 3. I trust your transit to this station was recuperative. Your concern is as underwhelming as ever, Dravis. We have traced the alien infestation's vector from our holdings in the Zeta Aquilae system, where we require you to gather reconnaissance information. We are fitting your ship with a warp drive prototype for the jump. Oh, I've already fulfilled my contractual obligations, Dravis. I'm not doing any more of your dirty work. Ah, oh, yes, your primary obligations have indeed been met, but. If you study your standard mercenary agreement, you will notice that PTMC reserves the right to keep you on retainer for up to 72 hours post mission. Dravis, you son of a... If you choose to decline further service, we may consider you in default in your contract, and your fee may be suspended pending litigation. Good luck, material defender. Dravis, out. I knew it! I knew PTMC would find a way to cheat me. I go on. Proceed to jump point Alpha. Yeah, I couldn't care less if they sue me. But they left me with no choice if I want my money. Initiate a jump free sequence. And here I thought indentured servitude ended in the 21st century. I only hope this is just a reconnaissance mission and nothing more. You are cleared to proceed to Zeta Aquilae. Alright, and here we are. Uh, let's take a look at some of the options that I'm enabling for this playthrough. So on the graphics side, nothing too um, special. We've got blocky filter, texture filtering, uh, anisotropic filtering, using transparency effects and uh, colored dynamic light. Furthermore, I'm playing this with a Xbox 360 uh, controller. And for the music, I'm going to uh, put on the original uh, Decent 2 Redbook audio, uh, which is uh, in this case just a um, playlist with the original tracks that are going to play in a uh, continuous mode. And maybe uh, further on in the playthrough, I might uh, switch it up with some other music. For now, let's restore the music volume. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna play the game on rookie difficulty. Now let's watch the first opening sequences. We are headed to Zeta Aquilae and we get a primer on the first robots that we'll encounter. We get a guide bot, which we can give some commands to uh, find keys or the boss for us. We've got our first enemies. These are pretty annoying little guys, hard to hit. And this one is quite annoying. It's the thief. He can actually take away your weapons or power-ups. Uh, and later on in the playthrough, we'll probably uh, see if we can nerf this guy. It's part of uh, a fun cheat. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's start by freeing our guide bot over here. He is going to find a red key, but we're not going to follow. 
Let's just uh, take out some switches. And there's already some hostages here. Let's see if we can clean, uh, clean this area a bit. Oh, another switch. We can actually destroy the lights. Which is new in part 2. Uh, let's grab this uh, cloak. We've got uh, homing missiles with a camera. Okay, let's uh, switch back to the laser. And we've got the laser upgrade as well. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the lava. Yeah, these Vulcan guys are pretty annoying. Yeah, so it's the first level and it's already crawling with enemies. Which is quite a change of pace uh, compared to Vicent 1. Get some smart missiles. I wonder if they're auto selected. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? Any switches we can reach? So there's a secret compartment over there. Don't see anything we can do down here. That's a shield energy converter. I don't think I ever used that. Uh, let's actually follow the guide bot for a bit. Yeah, this is one of my... Hey, wait. Got the Vulcan. Nice. Yeah, this is one of the audio tracks I don't really like. But we'll just uh, keep playing them for now. Located the exit. Okay, so we missed a secret somewhere, I think. But yeah, let's just uh, continue onwards. And let's take out the reactor and then we're done. Yeah, the Vulcan makes quick work of these uh, reactors. Um, so there's only one thing to do. And that's to head for the exit. And we get a little cutscene.
So that's it, the first level complete. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty casual playthrough. Not going to uh, hunt for every little secret. Oh, we get some extra, extra robot information. Let's save the game here. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time when we'll play uh, the second level and we'll also be creating a new hack.